Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. Firmly I believe, and truly, God is three, and God is one. And I next acknowledge duly, manhood taken by the Son. And I trust and hope most fully in that manhood crucified. And each thought and deed unruly do to death as he has died. Simply to his grace and holy light and life and strength belong. And I love supremely solely him the holy, him the strong. Adoration I be given with and through the angelic host to the God of earth and heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. When can I enter and see the face of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all day long, where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God. Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. My soul cast down within me. As I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Hermon, from the hill of Isa, deep is calling on thee, in the roar of waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning? Oppressed by the foe, with cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Up in God I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. Praise the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. 
the God who is, who was, and is to come, at the end of the ages. When can I enter and see the face of God? Show us, Lord, the light of your mercy. Save us, God of all things. Strike all the nations with terror. Raise your hand against foreign nations, that they may see the greatness of your might. Our sufferings proved your holiness to them. Let their downfall prove your glory to us. Let them know, as we ourselves know, that there is no other God but you. Give us signs again. Work further wonders. Clothe your hand, your right arm in glory. Assemble all the tribes of Jacob, as when they first received their inheritance. Pity the poor people called by your name. Pity Israel, chosen as your firstborn. Have compassion on the holy city, Jerusalem, the place of your rest. Let Zion ring with your praises. Let your temple be filled with your glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Show us, Lord, the light of your mercy. Blessed are you, Lord, in the vault of heaven. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firm shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard. Yet there's panic sense through all the earth. Their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. He comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent. Rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Give praise to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and for ages and ending. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, in the vault of heaven. When your words came, I devoured them. Your word was my delight and the joy of my heart. For I was called by your name, Lord God of hosts. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just. The praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just. For praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Sing to him a new song. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just. For praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, the praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Blessed be the Lord, for he has visited us and freed us.
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that free from fear, and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice, all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God visit us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has visited us and freed us. Christ has given us all a share in his priesthood. We offer our prayers and our souls in union with him. Lord, accept our love and serve us. Jesus Christ, you are the eternal priest. Make this morning's offering acceptable to the Father. Lord, accept our love and serve us. Lord, you are love itself. Grant that we may love you. Lord, accept our love and serve us. Give us today the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Make us patient, kind and gentle. Lord, accept our love and serve us. Give us the discernment to know the needs of our neighbours and give us the courage to love them as brothers. Lord, accept our love and serve us at the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching we dare to say our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty Lord and God, 
Protect us by your power throughout the course of this day, even as you enabled us to begin it. Do not let us turn aside to any sin, but let our every thought, word and deed aim at doing what is pleasing in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.